In this lesson, we are going to use Adobe Photoshop in retouching a face that has rough skin. We can use the spot healing brush and patch tool. In doing this part, you might not end up with the desired result. So we are going to use a very basic method in retouching this face. So as you can all see, I have my image already uploaded. I normally get my images from pexels.com and their images are all free of charge. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my quick selection tool, which is up here, the quick selection tool, and we are going to select the face, just the face, the entire face. Now there are some unwanted select areas that have been selected. So I'm going to use the minus selection to take those places off. And I'm going to press Ctrl J on the keyboard so that it creates a duplicate layer. So this is what we have. And I'm going to convert that layer to a smart layer. Next, I'm going to go to Filter, Blair, Gaussian Blair. So with the blurriness, you can see that already the skin has been smoothened out, but there's still a lot we need to do. So I'm going to maintain my blurriness at four radius or four, 4, 4.0. Then I click OK. Make sure preview is selected so you can see get a preview of it click OK next I'm going to add a mask layer then we pick our brush we need a normal brush for this we zoom in on our image make sure the foreground color down here is black the hardness can increase the hardness a little bit not so much like 30 is okay and then we use the brackets the square brackets in reducing the size and you brush over the areas that needs to be seen in effect we are making sure the facial details up here so you can be resizing the brush as and when it's needed so for small area areas you can reduce the size of the brush for the eyebrow I'm going to increase it a little bit and then getting to the end you can decrease the size of the brush Next, we can add some texture to the skin. So you select that smart layer. Then we go to filter once again. And we select noise. Then we go to add noise. See the preview can, the preview has already given you some texture. Make sure it's on uniform. And we select monochromatic. And then we reduce the amount significantly. Let me zoom in. I think one is okay. Then click OK. Let me zoom out completely. So this is 
uh, after this is the before and this is the after I have a video of a more advanced way of retouching the face in Adobe Photoshop and I've added a link to the description of this video.